Welcome to the Mercedes F1 pit wall stand. It's uh, or sometimes named by the guys in the garage as the Pratt Perch. It's, uh, we have five people sat on the timing stand during all sessions and uh, races. It's, uh, we all have a different role to play during the session and also during the race weekend. And uh, I'll, I'll explain who's, who does what, who sits where, and what equipment we have on the pit wall. On the far right, we have Simon Cole, who's our chief engineer. Simon's role during the sessions and during the weekend is to look after the car health. So he looks, he's monitoring all the systems. We have many people in the garage looking at different systems, but Simon will make a decision whether we need to pit the car because he's unhappy with a, a brake wear or a temperature or something. But, uh, next to Simon, we have James Vowles, who's our chief strategist. James makes it's the final decision on all the calls, whether we're going to pit and what tyres we're going to take and what strategy we're going to use. Uh, you'll see here we have some intercom panels. Each person has one intercom panel. I'm fortunate I have two. But uh, here James can speak directly back to Brackley or even Bricksworth. He can discuss potential strategies of ourselves and what other teams are doing. And uh, he feeds that down the line and, and also into the garage of what, we, what, we consider, what the considerations are and what the, what the outcome is going to look like. Next to James, we have an, another James, which is James Allison, who's new to the team. This will be his fourth race, and his position within, within the company is technical director. And he has overall say of how we're going to operate at the race event, but also at the factory on, on a technical side. He's, uh, he's getting to know us all. He hasn't been with us very long, and we've seen how we operate. But uh, so far, I think, hopefully he's impressed. But uh, he's been bringing all sorts of different information from teams he's, where he's been before you know, to the pit wall, and uh, he's, he's a great enhancement. Next to James Allison, we have Andrew Shovlin, or fondly known as named as Shove. Shove uh, is the chief race engineer. Shove's role in the team is to try and extract the most performance out of the cars at any given weekend. So he works very closely with all the engineering team on both sides of the garage, and uh, Bono and Tony Ross to ensure firstly that the cars are fast but also to ensure that both, both sides of the garage are getting the same information so we can bounce off each other to get to maximise performance from, from both cars. Next to Shove, it's myself, Ron Meadows, I'm the sporting director. Uh, my role within the session is to try and stop us getting in trouble with the FAA. Uh, also I look after the sporting regulations. I work with James Vowles with the pit stop, so I'll call the crew out and deal with all penalties during the race and ensure we get the right tyres on at the right time. We have three screens on the uh, pit wall stand. The top one is always the, the host feed and the timing screens. They, they never change and it's the same for each of the five people sat on the timing stand. The next screen down we can manipulate. Most of us run the race watch, which is a bespoke strategy software which we've designed in-house uh, and it's, it's we can manipulate it in any way we can have round track maps the normal track map we have gps following the cars we can have different timing systems and also the messages direct messages come from the fia to here so we can read if there's any official notification the next screen is this one down here the horizontal one this is normally used to show car data, and the reason we have it flat is so other teams can't, can't read the data live. So, you know, it shows what fuel levels are on, what tyres we're about to use, what we're thinking with the strategy. We can also contact the FIA via this one, via email or the messaging system. We also have, built into the pit wall, is the intercom. The intercom also doubles up as a radio, so we can speak to either driver. We've got Valtteri, we have Lewis. We also have the pit crew, we can speak to everybody in the garage to call pit stops. We have tactics, which is strategy, we can speak directly back to uh, Brackley and Bricksworth. So we can see, gather any information they've seen during the race or any ideas they've got. But also they're, they're assisting us with the strategy at each event. There's many different departments, who, you don't always have them all switched on because it could be anything up to 50 people speaking. But you'll have an aero department, you'll have the tyres. I can speak directly to Charlie Whiting and he can come directly back to me. When Charlie wants to speak to me, this light will flash here. 
so I know that he needs me then I go back to Charlie also speak to Joe Bauer who looks after all the technical side for the FIA so if he wants to speak to myself or Simon I'll, I'll reply to him then we have the race engineers Bono who looks after Lewis Tony Ross looks after Valtteri there's a Ron channel which is for everyone on the pit wall we, where we just bounce ideas off each other and once we come up with the idea then it, it goes to pit wall then tactics so I hope you've enjoyed this tour of, of our pit wall stand it's a Hopefully we'll have a good race this weekend and we'll make all the right decisions. It's, uh, oft often we're working from the seat of our pants, so it, it seems a bit easier than it actually is, but uh, when you've got such strong opposition as Ferrari and Red Bull, it, uh, you never know what's going to happen, but we'll, we're always trying to do our best for you.